right. You know, I guess we're running on Israeli time, so a little, <laughs> a little late, but let's uh, get started. So first off, uh, I want to uh, welcome everyone to essentially the first official uh, Cube Day uh, that we're hosting this year, and we're happy to do it in uh, Tel Aviv. So uh, welcome everyone, shalom, with, as, uh, as you say uh, uh, here. So uh, this Cube Day experience has been something new that we've been doing in CNCF to build regional events all over the world and kind of meet our community where they uh, are, and we continue to plan to do these. So I just want to do a brief welcome, and uh, as part of that, I want to discuss a little bit about uh, some interesting facts that I've kind of been discovering around the uh, Israeli cloud native community. So, you know, many of you have seen this lovely diagram, uh, you know, this, this landscape. I'm not going to go do a keynote and welcome about, let's go through every little box uh, on the landscape. The whole purpose of this thing is to show that we have a very large, diverse, you know, community of many open source projects, products, and so on that kind of compromise this whole uh, cloud native ecosystem. You know, we have over 200,000 contributors that contribute to this corpus of 160 plus projects that make up uh, cloud native. It makes us uh, one of the largest open source communities out there uh, in, in the world, if not fully the, the largest from, from what I know. Um, so today, we have about 500 people attending our first Cube Day Israel, which I'm very, very excited uh, about, which is close to capacity. So thank you, everyone, for coming here and supporting our first event. You know, uh, when I was talking with uh, some of our uh, lovely uh, program chairs, um, I was kind of trying to analyze what really makes up the kind of Israeli cloud native community. And so, you know, diving through the information, you know, we have this thing called uh, community.cncf.i or cloud native community Woo! groups. We have 2,000 plus members from uh, Israel. We've done 30 at least community meetups. Uh, and there was a, a lovely Kubernetes Community Day Israel organized recently, not to be confused with Cube Day, that had about 400 people that uh, attended. So it's a great growing, um, you know, community. If we look at our over 800 members that are part of the CNCF, we have about 31 that are exclusively headquartered in, in Tel Aviv, uh, sorry, Israel, and a big chunk are in uh, Tel Aviv for sure. And uh, you know, these are a, a great set of companies. You know, obviously, I think there's a maybe a heavy security bias with some of these uh, uh, companies, but truly all different parts of the uh, you know, cloud native stack. I think another interesting thing is these are just the 31 companies that are headquartered here, but uh, major international companies have very, very large development presses, uh, presences here and you know, obviously are contributing uh, to the community. The other thing that, that I was doing that I was like, you know what, let's try to kind of map the like, overall contributions to you know, uh, the CNCF ecosystem coming out of you know, Israel. And if you kind of look over the last you know, handful of years, every year there have been more and more contributions coming and there's been over already 10,000 contributions contributions this year so far um, to CNCF projects. But if you kind of look at this, you know, uh, <laughs> you, know uh, it, you look at Israel, the country, you know, uh, GDP, you're like number 33 or something, you know, overall. And if you kind of look at the overall contributions to the CNCF ecosystem, Israel comes in as 17th overall of the country to all of the CNCF projects. And uh, to Kubernetes itself, it's the 21st largest contributor. So, you know, in my opinion, you are definitely punching above your, uh, let's call it weight class or GDP uh, class if you look at it uh, you know, uh, that, that way. Um, so totally, it's about 1.6 contributions, 1.6% uh, of the global contributions are coming uh, from here uh, in this country, which is uh, super fascinating. Then I kind of started to dive into which projects, what are the projects that are, you know, obviously uh, contributions coming to. So we have a, a handful of projects that were actually born in Israel from CNCF. We have things like Teller, CubeSpace, CurieFence. These are obviously, uh, and, and oddly, I don't know why CDK, CDK uh, comes up, but uh, uh, seems to be very popular uh, in Israel. But uh, most of these projects have a bit of an interesting kind of cloud native security event, which is always uh, fascinating for me to see. But thank you for everyone that is contributing to these projects and ensuring that we're kind of democratizing uh, cloud native infrastructure. So without uh, wasting any more time and then kind of continuing with the program today, I kind of want to end with a, just a final welcome uh, and, and, and kind of thought here. So uh, I've always admired, you know, Israeli, you know, culture. There's always been this kind of um, community aspect to it, right? Whether, you know, things are, you know, culturally you have things like 
uh, kibitzes, right? And you have, um, you know, these things called, uh, what is it, S Sundaka charity boxes. So there's always been this kind of culture of, you know, giving and collaboration. And I think if I kind of look at CNCF itself, I view it as kind of a, almost a, a modern form of a, a kibbutz in some, in some ways. We're all working together and contributing in our unique way. We have some very talented engineers. We have people that are great at organizing events. We have people that are great at doing translations. This whole purpose of this organization is truly to democratize open source modern cloud native infrastructures. And I want to ensure that everyone in this room is aware that you could contribute uh, in your own kind of unique way. And we'd love to kind of continue to see the community here building, evolving, uh, and growing. And uh, we're definitely going to be back here uh, for sure um, you know, to do more here. So without any uh, further uh, you know, uh, ado, I kind of want to truly kick off the, the program today. And, and, and thank you all for, for coming here today. I want to uh, introduce uh, one of our lovely uh, co-chairs of this uh, you know, event. Um, he is also one of our Cloud Native uh, ambassadors. Um, he has also been an incredibly gracious host in the 36 hours that I've been in uh, Tel Aviv for the first time. So I would like to uh, welcome uh, Dotan to the stage to kind of get us uh, going. So thank you for the hospitality and uh, love, love to be here. So amazing to have you in Israel. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank Give you. him a, a big round of applause. Yay. And thank you all for joining us here for uh, Cube Day Israel, the first Cube Day Israel. Woo! Very exciting. Um, so actually, these are amazing stats. We're such a tiny country, around 9 million people. And seeing that we are behind 1.6% of the global open source contributions to the CNCF, 1.6%. For a tiny country, 10,000 contributions only this year alone. I think this deserves a clap. Round of applause to Israel. Great community. Or as I say, may the open source be with you. Um, and to be honest, I'm not that surprised. I've been fortunate enough to be uh, uh, one of the organizing team for the local CNCF chapter, the Meetup Group, Kubernetes Community Days, uh, DevOps Days, and others. And let me tell you, I see that every day. Um, we've been organizing regular meetups on CNCF Tel Aviv for the past four years, or maybe even more. Uh, you can see some pictures, very cool. Uh, even through the pandemic, by the way, with the lockdown and everything else, and the community carried on growing. And then we decided that we're going to hold a full-day event, uh, Kubernetes Community Days here in Israel, in Tel Aviv, back in March. Who attended KCD Israel in Tel Aviv? Raise your hands. Come on. Oh, that's amazing. I see quite a few faces here. So that was an amazing event. Uh, great lineup, as you can see in the pictures there. And great success sold out. Um, and we have many other communities locally here in, in Israel. We have DevOps Days. We have EBPFIL, JavaIL, and many others. And uh, let me tell you, as someone who's been on the organizer side and involved in many of these, this is definitely not to be taken for granted. We've got an amazing community and ecosystem here in Israel. Woo! So, lots of pride. And talking about local ecosystem, before we get started, I want to give a, a huge thank you to our global support, global sponsors, Sensor and TerraSky. Yay. And to our local supporters, AppsFlyer, CloudZone, Do It, GroundCover, Casten by VM, Lumigo, and Perfect Scale. Their support helped uh, bringing this beautiful event to Tel Aviv. And another big thank you to my uh, co-chair, my program chair, Dana Rosen, for working with me to curate uh, this great uh, uh, lineup of talks that uh, you're going to see today. Thank you, Dana. Woo! Woo! So as you heard from Chris, uh, Cube Day events are designed to connect international and local experts in global cities like Tel Aviv uh, uh, with developers, adopters, and practitioners to deliver quality educational experiences. We have an incredible day uh, lined up uh, in front of us, some excellent talks on Kubernetes and other CNCF projects. Today, uh, you'll get a chance to interact with uh, leaders in the community and uh, with uh, other experts in our beginner and advanced 
tracks. Before we get started, I want to uh, remind everyone that uh, our sponsor showcase is open here uh, outside in the Pavilion 10 foyer. Uh, they will open until 7 p.m., including breaks and lunch, so uh, do stop by and, and check it out. Our lunch buffet will also be served here outside in the Pavilion 10 uh, foyer. And please join us uh, our, on our networking and evening event, reception event that we're going to hold here also at Pavilion 10 foyer right after the last talk at 5 p.m. Uh, at the reception, we can enjoy drinks and appetizers and most importantly, connect with your fellow attendees. And lastly, please remember that we have uh, an event code of conduct that everyone uh, has agreed to abide to uh, and that we will enforce. In short, everyone should feel welcome and included. Uh, please treat everyone with respect and professionalism. And if you have any concerns, please go to the registration desk and the event team, team will assist you. Without further ado, I would like to welcome our first keynote speakers. May Beisaron is an infrastructure engineer at Forta and Batel Zohar uh, is a developer advocate at JFrog. Today, they will walk us through the spine-tingling and frightening migration of 420 services to Kubernetes. Not everything was as it seemed, and they are here to share with you the technical constraints and hurdles that they faced. Please welcome May and Battelle to the stage. <laughs> 